What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of the podcast across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to the Fruit of Evolution. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you like to support the channel, we got Patreon channel membership and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to the Fruit of Evolution episode 8. Last episode, we acquired a new person, Alolune. She was a donkey, I believe, that was super strong. Totally remind me of some fighting, shonen, comics, animes, and such. And uh, Seishi gave her the fruit of evolution. She ate it, she won a race, and she evolved. She got a human form. This episode is following that. See, this is the part where Lulune evolved. And turned into a beautiful woman. Oh dear. Interesting how he's always been naked as a donkey. But because of his reaction, she reacted to Like it was bad to be naked. Ooh. We just suddenly changed scenes. Okay. Mm-hmm. After eating the fruit of evolution. Girl, you gotta believe. See, see, say she is telling the truth. <laughs> mm-hmm, seeing is believing. Right? Right? He's like, all right. That means you've never had any clothes. Wow, 20 minutes? That was fast. Ooh! Sporty stylish, I like it. I like how the jacket matches with Lulune's ribbon. Is it a trope thing for short haired? Girl, cute yeah. girls to do that <laughs> kind of thing. Huh, her earring matches her eyes. <laughs> eh? <laughs> This kind of reminds me of a bachelor party and a stripper comes as a law enforcement. And it's like, you're under arrest. Here's your punishment. And then it's like, bounce the wow, wow time. <laughs> Third Division, Captain of the Demon Lord's Army. Second Division. Yo, we're getting their names. Doesn't that mean we're going to see them again? Zelos, First Division. You know, Division? Fifth Division. Yeah, I'm screenshotting those. Fourth Division, Loretta, Loretta. Doesn't she look like a game character? The 
demon lord's daughter. This one looks suspicious. Stubby. All smiles. Totally reminds me of that henchman in Sword Art Online. You know what I'm talking about. The one that looked like a jester. That one. Oh, an alliance with the Wimper Kingdom? Isn't that the Kingdom State she's in right now? Ooh, the King of Wimberg is building friendly relations with demons. Strongest member of the Demon Lord's army. <gasps> okay, if the Black Dragon God was the strongest member of the Demon Lord's army, that means that he can defeat all these guys. Right? Or, or do they not count? <laughs> Are you a necromancer? Like I lost then if I'm seeing you like this. That man challenged me fair and square. No regrets. He is so cute. Why are you sweating for? Prophecy, what prophecy? Why are you sweating? So suspicious, yo. Maybe that prophecy's all fooey too. Yeah. Listen to your boss. Savor some hot punishment. We were right! What are you after? Not like anybody's gonna follow you. No one likes you in that room. This is for your date, Seichi. Oh, spend a day with us Valkyries.
He's a devil. Rose petals. Okay, this is totally reminding me of Utena Revolution Girl. Yeah, these rose petals here and the sword. Seiji <laughs> is thinking the same thing or something along the lines. Now, if she was wearing bandic shorts underneath, yeah, she would totally be like Utena with blue hair. Is this how <laughs> the petals? Where are these petals coming from? <laughs> Don't worry, it's a wooden sword. Does would she have treated any winner of that race like that? I think they would be turned off by that. They would like. I don't want to fight. I just want to hang out with all these hotties. Yeah. Really? Are we doing like a delinquent versus class president thing? Boxing club? Also, we got a brawler. You want to be like a monk? Pew, pew, pew. That hurt. I'm so sorry that that hurt. And you guys want to fight monsters. Hmm. Why did we give him his own panel? Does that mean we're going to see him more frequently? Go say chi, go say chi, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's keeping up with her. Her serious attacks? <laughs> the rose petals. Ooh, adaptation. Activation. World vision. Reflexive, reflexive defense. Oh ho 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 ho! Everybody's shocked. 
You is your reflexes, yo. You one ninja. Oh! She wants to call him master. Okay, I like this better because you know how sometimes in stories where a girl gets defeated, she falls in love with the one man who was able to defeat her kind of thing? I thought that was going to happen. But no, she's like, let me call you master. I think I prefer that. All, can, all she can think about is swords. That sounded wrong. But you know what I mean. Is she going to poison him? Genius with the sword since the day she was born. She can't use any skills or magic. Oh, so... There's like some balance. Oh, she has like a photographic memory. But swordmanship. Black Paladin? Who's that? Who's the Black Paladin? The Rose Petals. For saving you from what? I've always been alone. Oh, come on. So, because of your skills and everybody putting you up on the pedestal, they were intimidated by you. And you've never had a true relationship with anyone. The more walls grew, the lonelier I got. <laughs> never had anyone I could call a friend. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is totally like Utana Revolution and Girl. Yeah. Oh! This strong female bond friendship thing going on. Yeah, totally like Utena. Yep. Yep. Mm hmm. See that bond deepening? Feel what I see? Instructor acquired. I wonder if that instructor skill thing is going to be used frequently later on, especially with his party members. Gonna be like, yeah, right. No. Yes, the as if. Well, did you? It's like Tsukimichi with Makoto. Can she see him? 
Beachy status for today. You're not the usual girls. His new skill, world vision. Reflexive defense is a skill that allows him to automatically take defense. No, I don't think she's falling for him. Master and student? Love relationship? No. No. Uh, yeah, um, I kind of don't want, uh, Louise to get together with Seichi. I kind of want to keep that master-student relationship just because, you know, his harem is already growing. And I would prefer the development like Artoria, where she starts getting, uh, affection, starting to have affection for him. And then she's realizing her uh, feelings for him. I, I kind of want it like that. Like, I don't know, just the whole master student thing. A bit forced. And maybe it's because I want to look more at the demons. I always like to see the demon side of the stories more. <laughs> Especially when they're not as evil as... Uh, they were first portrayed in the beginning of the story. And the assassin girl that we saw earlier, she seems to be part of the demon army. Maybe not. Who's she with? Is she Was she put there to uh, frame the demons? Yeah, maybe. Hmm, interesting. What did you guys think about this episode? And what did you think about this video let me know in the comments below and if you want to talk outside of youtube there's a discord link is in the description i also stream on twitch.tv slash outside of youtube and twitch i host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime manga and other things you're interested in if you like podcasts like that link to the podcast is in the description we're available on all platforms other than that my name is lehua and this is the superfina channel reacting to the fruit of evolution episode 8 hope you guys like this video and i'll see you in the next one laters